Um, thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Mabule. Um, my surname is Ranta, and I am I am um, coming to you live from China. The city that I'm staying in currently is Hoshan. Um, so for me, I firstly just want to say um, thank you very much for this opportunity once again, and I want to share my experience um, briefly. I'm a woman of very um, shocked words. I don't have much to say. Um, actually, I'm very uh, overwhelmed right now to be part of uh, this great launch this evening. Okay, so um, the experience for me here in China has been uh, very tough. Um, at the very beginning, uh, the outbreak, when it started, it was um, unexpected um, and I didn't. I never thought in my life that I would um, survive merely by just using a mask. You know, um, and in the past, everything was just really going well for us. Um, so the COVID hit us um, at a time where it was the Chinese New Year, and everyone was getting ready for the holiday season. And um, after after that moment, when we heard that um, COVID-19 has, um, has arrived, basically. Um, <laughs> we had to um, be well informed about the, the threat that this disease causes to the lives of many people. And we had to ensure that we are safe. And um, kudos to the Chinese um, government for making sure that everyone's health uh, comes first. So um, they have been able to ensure that we get tested, um, especially the foreigners, um, even though there were some uh, controversial um, stories that were being shared about the lives of African people um, that were um, being, oh, there were some, some racist attacks against African people that I would um, want to say that um, I'm one of those people that were fortunate enough um, to have not experienced any um, attacks from uh, that had um, arisen from the um, situation that happened in Guangzhou. Uh, Foshan is a city that is closer to Guangzhou, and um, I was also quarantined. Uh, the police came to um, take me away for quarantine at a, a nearby hotel where I'm um, where, where I'm currently staying. Um, the experience was not what I had expected because a lot of people were saying that um, you know it's going to be um, it's going to be like really um, um, racist and all of that. Um, but I think um, when we have to talk about racism, we have to understand that yes, it does exist. It exists in all um, in all systems in all countries. Um, I think the most important thing, what I have done, and that has helped me a lot um, as um, a foreigner living in China, is that I have to do um, everything that the Chinese government um, tells me to do. That means I need to follow the laws and regulations. And therefore, um, in my case, whenever they tell us to do something, um, in this case where the situation of racism uh, took place, it was a matter of the government, um, you know, taking um, some health uh, commitment checks in, in, in the specific city of Guangzhou. Um, and so it was to actually help the African people because there were so many reported cases um, in Guangzhou and the reported cases were in particular from African people. Um, so, so far, um, after the quarantine, I was quarantined for a number of seven days, and I tested negative. I have been, um, so far, tested uh, about five times, um, and um, I, I know that this could be unfair for a lot of people, but I think the Chinese government has really been trying to control the situation. Um, and so they always try to be sure. The reason why I was tested so many times was because um, I 
I was quarantined, yes, and that's the movement. The more you move, let's say you move from or where you're staying to a different district, they will have to test you for that. And that is the, the reason why I was tested so many times. And the tests were um, were in particularly for different for I mean for different reasons. Um, the other reason was for uh, as the school's record because as an English teacher I needed to go back to school and, and in order for me to go back to school the school needs to ensure that I have tested negative and not positive. So one um, uh, one test was for in particularly for my. Um, uh, position as a teacher at school. Uh, other tests that were done were for where I am staying as a resident. And so, um, as I am explaining, I'm sure you can all agree that this was just a way of controlling um, the situation. And so far, um, we are doing well. Um, gradually, we have been able to adjust to this new change. I can confirm that um, at my school, we have been teaching the students without wearing any masks. Um, and so all the students were also tested and all the teachers and every, um, and every other person who is working at our school, everyone was tested and we were all negative and there was no need for us to use the mask. But when we are um, traveling to our schools um, or to malls or any other areas, we do um, wear our masks.